Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be showing you how to play victim as Tex in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's literally it. Anyways, I'm just going to go and start this off. So pretty much if you just click customization, that's where you can find your loadouts and all the players that you play, just as family and victims. You get these things called skill points, which you earn from leveling up, which pretty much you just play the game. Anyways, but you use these skill points to be able to spend on your skill tree for any character that you want. Within this skill tree, there are different paths that you can take. And if you choose one path, the other paths will just cancel out. So you cannot choose wisely with which path you're choosing. For example, here, I already choose right, so straight and left, I can't go anymore. And the only way to do that is refund everything, which you can do in this game, and you will get everything back. But you have to start off all over again with the character, at least within the skill tree, and level everything back up again. But within these skill trees, there are these things called extra attribute points, and then there's perks. So with these extra attribute points, what you can do is you can actually level up the attributes of your character. For example, uh, there's toughness, endurance, strength, proficiency and stealth every character has a different one like Connie she's really good with proficiency so you can level up like her strength or her toughness or whatever whatever's the lowest you want to usually level that one up to even everything out and you can also take them away and you unlocking more of the skill tree you get more attribute points where you can just level up your character pretty much all the way to max so far that I know I'm pretty sure just to get this out the way toughness is your health so the more toughness you have the more health you have endurance is pretty much just how much stamina you have strength is pretty much how much you can stun a enemy for or how much force you put into budging a door open. Proficiency pretty much helps you with tasks that involve like clicking, like lock picking or opening a, a tunnel gate or whatever. Literally anything that involves trying to do something is proficiency. And then stealth is pretty much how much force you put into like, for example, those bones hanging. If you put like just a little bit amount for like Leland, he will make it go off. But for example, like Julie or Anna, they won't go off. Perks. Perks are really simple. If you've played literally any video game at all, there's usually perks in every one of them. The perks are based off of their attributes. So there are some perks that will let you look within 30 seconds of spawning in you can find toolboxes or sharp tools to find and help you around your match obviously and then there's the character abilities which every character has their own unique ability for example connie connie can pretty much just lock pick anything within literal seconds there's also levels to these abilities so for example that you can level up each ability to level three and just to level them up you usually just play the game you know and there are three paths you can go again but um there are classes you have up to five classes and they change your attributes and perks so that you don't have to go back and change them constantly and every time if you want to use a different set that's basically everything i wanted to go over with the menu and all the characters and now i'm just going to talk to you about the pretty much characters themselves so the victims are connie leland anna sonny and Julie. I'm gonna start off with Connie first. Connie's most known for that cake, goddamn. I mean, her ability, you know, she's really good with uh, her ability to like do things fast, you know, obviously. That's that's the, the whole point people play Connie nothing else so connie originally has 20 toughness 25 endurance 15 strength 35 proficiency and 30 stealth her core strength is proficiency because she's really good at lock picking just like her power helps her do so her ability actually has a cooldown of about 220 seconds which you can change when you level up her ability depending on one of the ones you do pick but her ability does last around 15 to 20 seconds which i think also can possibly be changed by leveling the ability up connie's pretty kind of just straightforward so there's not really anything else I could say about her. But uh, she's definitely, uh, I'd say, an 8.5 out of 10. If you're going to bully a killer, you play Leland. Because this is what his core attributes are. Five. His attributes are 20 toughness, 30 endurance, 40 strength, 25 proficiency, and 10 stealth. Leland has one of the worst proficiencies. And maybe it's just not proficiency, just but for some reason, he takes so fucking long. What the fuck? Did? His ability is literally just pushing people on the floor. Just literally pushing them, pushing them and running away. It's great for getting assault charges on you. Or like other people like to do is literally just bull the, the entire family because why not? Anna's technically the main character of the game because she lost her sister and because she's the group leader. Her attributes are 35 toughness, 25 endurance, 30 strength, 20 proficiency, and 20 stealth. Her ability pretty much lets you re take reduced damage from any oncoming hits. For example, here, as I'm running, I use it to get past. Take less damage from jumping down wells. And you're also immune to poison, so Sissy's poison won't do anything to you. Honestly, overall, I think she's a pretty good character. Donnie's really good at hiding since he's actually really skinny like, compared to all the other characters, like Lee 
Leland, he's usually, he's buff. Even the girls got more fucking curvature to, to them than my boy Sonny here. But you know what? His attributes are 15 toughness, 35 endurance, 35 strength, 25 proficiency, and 15 stealth. So pretty much his ability allows him to hear out for sounds, killer or not. And you can see them through the wall. You can see the sounds through the wall. Any footsteps they make, he will hear it. And it, it's literally just wall hacks. I don't understand why no one plays him. Actually, never mind, I do. It's because he literally dies within like two hits of any character because of how low his toughness is. Julie just my girl. She she a real one, all right? Her powers speak for herself. Literally, she's goaded in my opinion. But anyways, her attributes consist of 25 toughness, 30 endurance, 15 strength, 20 proficiency, and 35 stealth. Her ability, in my opinion, is my personal favorite because she literally loses no stamina. Like, literally look how slow it's going down. It takes forever for it to just go down compared to when you're casually running without the ability activated. Anyways, pretty much her ability allows you to run without taking as much stamina as it would originally. She also can't be tracked by the cook or Johnny, so she's pretty much literally untrackable and she can get the hell out of there so if you're trying to get a character that you could just sprint off and no one finds you julie's definitely the person you choose so that's pretty much all the characters hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe this took a long time to just get all these clips together and i know this was a short video but if you guys would want um me to explain killers next i would be totally down for that but uh if you could hit that subscribe button and really help me out so you guys have a good rest of your day and uh peace out